All right, well, welcome to our information session on the Arcadia programs. Um, I'm Rebecca McMunn. I'm the Education Abroad Specialist that works with these programs here at Ohio State. Um, so if you're going to be pursuing one of them, you'll be, I'll be the one kind of meeting with you and answering questions on anything that has to do with the Ohio State side of things. I'm joined today with colleagues from Arcadia, Angel and Wendy. So they will be kind of um, letting you know a little bit more about what the program's offerings are and um, what study abroad through Arcadia looks like. So just to get started, I'm going to go through a few key pieces of things on the Ohio State side, and then I'll pass it over um, to Angel and she'll get us started on the Arcadia side. So kind of three big things to keep in mind. One is the application process. And so for your application, you're going to have to do two applications, one for Arcadia and one for Ohio State. And so both of those are going to be due by the Ohio State deadline for spring semester that is October 1st, for summer it's February 1st, and for fall it's March 1st. So like I said, both applications have to be submitted by that time and that might not match up with what you're seeing on the Arcadia website, but you should be following what is on the Ohio State website or what I guess a better way to say, because I know there are a couple oddball programs, if there's an earlier deadline on Arcadia's side, you'll also need to follow that for them. But for the most part, I think they tend to be later or around our same deadline. Um, you will need an approval from me in order to submit your application. And so I will submit that once you've submitted your Ohio State application. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about your timing. For all of your credits, um, all of your coursework will come back to Ohio State as graded academic credit, meaning it's going to factor into your GPA and kind of look like it came from Ohio State. In order to make that happen, you need to get the courses that you take approved. So there are several programs that have pre-approved courses. Um, and so you'll take a look on our website at Education Abroad at OSU to see if there are pre-approved courses. If there aren't, or if the course you're looking at isn't on the pre-approved list, that's okay. It just means you have to go through a few extra steps in order to get that approval. So if you're looking into that process, that's when it would be a great time to set up an appointment with me and I'm happy to walk you through that, but I won't get too deep into that now. Um, and then the third big piece is gonna be uh, like funding and payments. So for a program like this, you are not going to be charged Ohio State tuition the semester that you're abroad. The only thing we charge is an international insurance fee. And then you will pay the full program fee to Arcadia. Um, and that also means um, that you will have, in general, students are able to use their um, aid packages through um, FAFSA or scholarships, grants, loans that they have. They're able to use that to help pay for the program fee. But I definitely point people towards meeting with Buckeye Link so that they can review their specific act or their specific aid package just to make sure that that will remain true for any of your specific circumstances. Um, so those are my big, my big pieces. Um, I will now then um, pass it over to Angel and I'm kind of back out and be available for questions. Yeah, thanks Rebecca. Uh, as Rebecca said, my name is Angel Albin and I'm an institutional relations manager um, at Arcadia Abroad, and I actually have a um, PowerPoint to share with you. Um, and also my colleague, uh, Wendy is here as well. I don't know if she wants to say hi. Sure, hi, I'm Wendy Lombardo and I'm the Associate Director for Institutional Relations and happy to work with you. Yeah, so I'll jump right into my, the presentation here. Um, you guys can see that. Let's see. Open. Can you guys see my screen? The slide? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, as I mentioned, um, I'm an institutional relations manager uh, with Arcadia, and I cover the Northeast Ohio and Illinois region. I'm actually an OSU alum, so yay, go Bucks! Um, and I'm actually located regionally in Ohio. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, I included some pictures of me there. You probably recognize Stonehenge, um, and there's a couple from Northern Ireland. 
Um, full confession, unfortunately, I never studied abroad as an undergrad student, um, but if I could go back in time, I definitely would, um, as going abroad is such a life-changing um, and great learning experience. Um, so being here and learning more information is a great first step uh, to your study abroad journey. So thank you for being here. So some information about Arcadia. We are a third party study provider. However, we are also part of Arcadia University located near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We've been sending students to study abroad uh, for over 70 years since 1948. To date, we have over 65,000 study abroad alumni um, and over 130 programs in 10 different countries. Um, I'd like to play a short informative video for you now about Arcadia so you can get a sense of who we are. So actually, I think Rebecca is going to be sharing it. I'll just back up out of my... Are you able to share it, Rebecca? If I stop sharing. So you want to study abroad? There are so many choices. Why choose Arcadia? With over 70 years experience in study abroad, a transcript from us ensures academic quality. We also ensure applied learning is at the heart of every aspect of your program, educating the whole you. Our staff in country organizes exciting excursions and events to help you connect, understand and enjoy the local people, the physical environment and the culture of your selected location. We will encourage you to reflect on your experiences and relate them to your own life goals and aspirations. We will help you understand how you've changed, the new skills you've learned, the leadership qualities and independence you've gained. We'll also help you articulate those strengths in your resume so that employers and grad school admissions officers appreciate them. You can earn our unique co-curricular learning certificate as a result linking what you've learned academically to what you've learned outside the classroom. With Arcadia, you will have personal guidance from the time you apply through to the time you return home. Our staff in country and at home will guide you through program selection, visa applications, health and safety, in-country orientation, housing and logistics. We are here to help you achieve your dream of study abroad. Get started by following Arcadia Abroad on social media and check us out at studyabroad.arcadia.edu. Angel, you're muted. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Technology. Um, so now that you've seen some of our programs uh, and what they may look like, you might be thinking, um, what does study abroad look like and what does Arcadia offer? Um, we offer a variety of options uh, that include semester experiences, year-round programs, and summer opportunities. And those can even be broken down into STEM, internships, and academic areas of interest. Um, in order to find the right program for you, uh, we have a program finder on our website to filter programs based on a variety of factors. Uh, you can filter how long you plan to study, such as semester, year, or summer. Uh, you can also filter based on your academic area of interest. Um, if you have a preferred location uh, and program types, such as classroom-based research or internship. Um, I can take you through our program finder real quick. The link is up here. Uh, at the top of the page. So you can see here, as I mentioned, you can sort by time frame. Um, if you're looking for a semester or summer experience or a full year. Um, also, we have everything broken down into subject areas if you're looking for something specific. And then we also have the location uh, if you're looking for a particular country, particular city, um, also a location type. Um, you can choose rural setting, big city, medium city, um, a lot of variety there. And then, as you can see, the final uh, selection is program. So you can do classroom-based, uh, field research, internships, lab research. So once you click your, your choices, um, you can filter out the different areas. Let's see here. Actually, this 
screen is. So if I do classroom based in the country, you'll see it comes up the Bard College of Art. And once you click on a program page, it brings up more details about the location, about the courses that you can select over here on the right hand side, um, as well as housing, excursions and activities we offer at that location. You can see the staff, um, you can see program dates, travel needs information and fees and deadlines. Basically everything you need um, to know uh, to get you started. So you may, so let's see here. I just want to mention some of our popular programs. Um, we have quite a few students always interested in our STEM summer research. Um, they're offered in a variety of locations. Uh, they are project specific and based on faculty availability and interest at that location. There's a wide range of STEM areas available uh, from biomedical sciences, chemistry, engineering, uh, environmental science, geological sciences, math, psychology, neuroscience, and physics. Uh, and students work hands-on with research faculty, learning valuable research skills and methods. Research projects are uh, usually posted around the end of October. Uh, that's when our applications open up to the program and application deadlines uh, for summer 2021 will be March 31st, 2021. Uh, another popular program is our internship program, which is available in London, Dublin, and Scotland. Um, our internships are very personalized and based on your area of interest, uh, and we make every effort to accommodate students' preferences. Um, although we can't guarantee placement in any particular field or organization, we do try and tailor the experience to your goals and academic aspirations. On our internship page, um, the link is there. Uh, for each location, there is a placement guide that thoroughly explains the application process and program, as well as the different types of placements offered. Some other popular programs by country, just to name a few, um, you'll see in England, we have King's College London, which is very popular. It does have an early deadline and so does Oxford. So you'll definitely wanna check our website for those programs, uh, for those deadlines, if they were of interest. Uh, and in Scotland, we have St. Andrews and the Museum Studies Internship. In Ireland, we have Trinity College and the Dublin Parliamentary Internship. Italy, our King and Rome, Umbra. Um, and some other great examples of Australia options, uh, as well as in New Zealand, just to name a few on offer. So once you find a program and have talked to your study abroad office, we help you with everything you need during the application process. Uh, from course selection to housing, which we do provide, uh, visa applications, airport pickup, and tips and tricks, our staff are well equipped to help you succeed and go abroad. While you're in your Acadia Study Abroad program, we also provide support with our in-country staff who are available to assist you 24-7 in every location. Uh, when you arrive in-country, we provide orientation uh, to help acclimate you to your new environment and help you get familiar with the lay of the land, um, as well as get to know the local staff and resources available to you. Our country staff uh, also provide support with advising as well as coordinating fun and exciting excursions. Um, and students can also partake in a wide range of co-curricular experiences, such as volunteer opportunities and university clubs and societies. So you may be thinking that all sounds great. Uh, so what are my next steps? Um, as Rebecca mentioned, you'll wanna meet with your study abroad office for advising and also check out our program finder on our website. Once you choose a program, uh, verify that it's approved by OSU, um, and you'll want to register on our Acadia portal um, where you create a student account and submit your initial application alongside the OSU application that uh, Rebecca mentioned as well. After that, you'll be connected to your knowledgeable mm -hmm. program manager uh, who can advise you through the final application process. Um, you may also want to check out scholarships uh, we do have an Arcadia scholarship uh, page uh, or scholarship um, that is need-based and 70% of students who apply um, to the scholarship do get some sort of financial award. The average award amount is um, around 1,500 per semester programs and 700 per summer programs. 
Um, we also recommend other outside scholarships listed on our website that are academic and country-based. Uh, you'll also want to check with your study abroad office to see if they have any recommendations for other outside scholarships to help fund your study abroad experience as well. We also recommend creating a budget, which our program managers can help advise you with. Um, creating a budget will help you better plan and prepare your study abroad experience. Um, and scholarship and budgeting uh, information can also be found on our website down here. So that actually concludes my, my presentation about studying abroad with Arcadia. Um, if you have any questions or would like further information, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My email and phone number is there on the slide.